Hey guys, this is Ryan from Windows Netbook Helper. Today I'm going to show you how you can increase your internet speed by just a little bit. So let me just tell you how this is going to work. It's a program that basically tells you what the best server is, okay? It's not just going to give you internet speed. So, what you have to do first is go to your favorite browser, go to this page right here, scroll down until you see Download Now. Unless you're going to use this more than once, click save to your desktop, but I'm just going to use it once, so I'm just going to run it. So once you're done, this is going to come up right here. What you're going to do is go to Named Servers, and then this might take a bit right here. Okay, so what that did was load all of my servers. So what you're going to do now is click Run Benchmark. So what this is going to do is show you all of your servers and how fast they're going. So what you're going to do is make sure that these two boxes right here are checked, especially this one. So by the end, it was this one and this one right here that were at the top two. So let's pre just pretend that that one's there. And that happens. Okay, so once it's all done, it might take around like 15 minutes or something like that, you're going to see your top two, right? So what you're going to do here is you're going to go to your network connections and then you're going to go to open network and sharing center. So once you're there, you're going to click on change adapter settings. Then you're going to right click on your connection, the one that's actually working. You're going to go to properties. So, what we're going to do is go to Internet Protocol version 4 TCP slash IPv4. Click on that and go to properties. And it's going to by default be set to this, but what you're going to do is type in your top two. So there's my top two right there. So all you have to really do is just type it in. So your first one you're going to type in here, and then your alternate is going to be right there. Okay, so once you're done that, then just click OK. Don't go back to that other one, though. Make sure it's set to this one right here. So just click OK and then close. Close out all your stuff, including this. And that is it. Thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you next time.